We almost done here. Assuming you did this shaving your forehead. Okay then, I'm ordering a head CT. No, I don't have a headache. I'm not dizzy. Eddie, I gotta get back. You, you gotta stay here. We'll straighten out that mess with Marco tomorrow. Let the doc do his job. Actually, stitching you up is really the ER doc's job. Yeah. Too long of a wait. Yeah, also a lot of cops in the ER. Not that you care about that. So how did this happen? You're right. This is a stupid question. It's the answer is kind of obvious. Those scrapes on your hands means you didn't try to break your fall. Means either out cold or totally disoriented when you went down. No sign of trauma other than the cut means no one hit you in the head. Powder burn on your jacket sleeve means someone shot a gun. All right, Eddie. Come on, let's go. I don't care what you guys are into. If you don't get this checked out, it'll happen again. What will? This. Cool. 32-year-old man recently developed loud noise-induced vertigo. CT was clean, no internal bleeding, no edema. Everything else is in the file. Cameron, get your hair in the divorce. This guy strained his back three years ago, and that's it. All the rest of these pages are blank. Yes, he won't tell us anything. Understandable, since he's a drug dealer. So he's dangerous and withholding, which you find irresistible. But guys like that, they never call. He actually said he was a drug dealer? Not out loud, but he was wearing a solid gold Patek Philippe. His friend had a Rolex. But their phones were prepaid burners. So you could toss them as soon as they're done. It doesn't matter if this guy's a drug dealer or not. Noise-induced vertigo means ear or brain. Head CT was clean, so I'm thinking acoustic neuroma. We need to do an ABR to test his hearing. Acoustic neuroma fits. So does lidocaine toxicity, or benzocaine. Depends what he's cutting the coke with. So now he's not just a drug dealer, he's a cocaine dealer. He seemed peppy. You test his ears, I'm gonna go test his cocaine. You think this guy's just gonna hand over a briefcase full of illegal drugs because you ask nicely? I hope not. You're gonna hear a series of clicks and hisses. Sensors measure electronic activity to your auditory nerve. How long is this gonna take? An hour, maybe an hour and a half. Or you could walk away with a tumor in your ear. Guy's probably late to a stabbing. The penises look good. Sounding at 13 clicks per second at 50 decibels. Check this out. 13's middle name is Beauregard? Wave-free latency is 3.8. Slightly delayed, but nothing significant. That's what sticks out to you? House is clearly screwing with us. It's a fake pay stub. Looks real to me. There's no way she makes that much money. I make that much money. And apparently you don't. Pupils are constricted. Pulse is bounding. The airway's clear. We need a crash car in here. It's gotta be his blood pressure. We need to get it down before he strokes out. At least we know his ears are okay. The patient on vasodilators got his hypertension under control. He got worse here at the hospital. Means thug life probably isn't what's making him sick. Which means we can stop the bloodhound gang routine and go back to being doctors. But we're doctors all the time. It's so boring. Fine. Could be sick sinus syndrome. No chest pain, shortness of breath. Brain aneurysm secondary to polycystic kidney disease. Normal urinalysis, kidneys impalpable. Is that a new watch? I thought I'd get myself a little treat. What if it's not his brain, but it's on the way to his brain? Carotid stenosis. Get an ultrasound of his carotids. See if his arteries are clogged. Ultrasound showed no narrowing or obstruction in the patient's carotid. Not that he's worried, keeps asking when he can leave. You bugged his room? Our patient sleeps in the building where they keep their stash. Eventually he'll say something and gives away where that is. 
and we'll find out what's making him sick. But we ruled out environmental causes. You ruled out environmental causes. And you pretended to agree just so we take him out of his room so you could plant the bug. Carotid stenosis was a decent idea. But an even decenter idea is that he's got toxins stored in his fat cells. Every calorie he burns makes him sicker. If we're going with toxic exposure, we should just start testing for the most likely suspects. Bugs a better idea than blindly running tests for days. Tell him it'll take weeks. It'll be faster. What do you mean, weeks? These tests take time. There are a lot of possibilities. No, but I, I can't sit here this long. I got things I gotta take care of. You're worried about all the poor school children going without their drugs? I'm sure someone... I wanna be discharged. I'll get the forms. This friend brought him in 15 minutes ago. Temps 105, pulse is weak and thready. He's not making any sense. It's too much money, Eddie. It wasn't the deal. It wasn't the deal. Is he gonna be okay? Eddie! We gave him antipyretics and soft steroids to reduce the fever and prevent organ damage. He's no longer delirious. The patient went out and came back worse than before. Points us back to environmental and tied to wherever he went. No, it doesn't. Where's Foreman? He had a meeting with Cuddy. What do you mean, no, it doesn't? We screwed up the tail. My car was impounded. True, amusing, and irrelevant. You're off environmental? Wherever he went, it wasn't for long enough. Add in the fever, and infection's way more likely. And if it is an infection, his symptoms suggest it's moved to his brain. Which means, do a lumbar puncture. It's not an infection, but it might be an autonomic nerve disorder. The hair is still bumping. Did you get it cut because you're ready for the next chapter, or? Stuck a needle into his spinal bodies twice. His heart rate stayed normal. If we add that to his other symptoms. That would be a mistake. You're a wuss. See that one, I'm better. We gonna beat me up? It sounds stressful. Maybe you should pop one of your beta blockers first. You have a heart problem? Medically, no. He would have told us about that. Metaphorically. It's an effect from operating outside of the law. Sometimes I, I have to do bad things and not always to bad people. The last few months, that hasn't been so easy. You know, a guy got me the pills and they control the stress. Look, don't, don't say anything to Eddie, all right? The last thing I need is a guy's thinking that I've gone soft. When was your last pill before we originally admitted you? Um, the night before. And we stuck you in here and you went into beta blocker withdrawal. That's what caused the hypertension. When we got out of here, he took another pill and the hypertension went away. Which means it was never a symptom. We take that off the table, we've got vertigo, fever. And stress. He's been in this game for a while. Either he grew a conscience over the last few months or he's producing excess adrenaline. Pheochromocytoma. What? It's Greek for you'll be back doing bad things to good people in no time. MRI is adrenal glands. You're okay with that, right? You're not gonna put a pillow over his face. 